In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. Folk who have education. Zoom, zoom, zoom. For the most zoom, part, zoom, zoom, and zoom, don't call zoom. me up and say, well. guy on drugs get the piece of shit out of my way why the fuck are you stopped there keep going keep driving idiot i'm trying to watch the tesla guy plug in his model three what the hell is wrong with you this moron he's on the phone you're not supposed to be driving on the phone jerk off stupid people god yeah you're gonna kill somebody you're gonna get somebody killed you moron that nissan Ultima, the official car to cheating girlfriend. Jesus Christ. Oh, another one. All these Model 3s taking over all the charging stations. This is exactly what they expected to happen, too. Oh, Look at this guy. They always expected the Model 3s to take over all the charging stations. And once the Model Y comes out, it'll be all Model Ys and Model 3s, basically. In fact, Saturday morning, I'm probably going to do a video on the Tesla Model X. So just stay tuned. So that'll be like Saturday. Well, I'll be doing it Saturday morning, but I probably won't post a video until like Saturday evening. I think I already did one, but I'm going to do another one. What's up, bro? How are you? How you doing? Everything good? Oh, good. 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 I was like, gotta go back to the hospital.
See who else is going to show up? You didn't put anything new in there, right? You didn't put anything in there, right? No, no, yeah. Okay. I'm saying this like this. You can feel how light this is. This is so light. That's a carbon fiber hood, right? Yep. That shit is light. Right? Wow. Right, John? Yeah. I'm going to need some hood Carbon fiber? Yeah, where? You going to put hood pins? I'm going to have to eventually. I'm going to say, come on, now you better go fast. I'm going to have to. Carbon fiber. Ten minutes, ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm gonna go get some barbecue. Let's go get some Addie's barbecue. I was reading a story a little earlier about some kid on YouTube who's making $200,000 a month, I think it is, doing video games, playing fucking Fortnite. Do you know how upset that makes me? Like, I'm like, you mean to tell me here I am busting my ass to make over $150,000 a year, and meanwhile I've got some child who's playing fucking Fortnite and making, like, way more. So basically, I think what I want to do is I want to start gaming again. And when Mortal Kombat 11 comes out, I'm going to start doing like some serious shit talking videos playing Mortal Kombat 11. I'm going to talk tremendous levels of shit and I'm just going to make it hilarious because you know, you don't know. I used to play online a lot and I used to be a massive shit talker online. Like you wouldn't believe the stuff I said. There's things I said, man, if I could have recorded it. I would have had like a hit television show by now. So there's no reason why I can't start, you know? So that's what I want to do. It's like when Mortal Kombat 11 comes out, I'm not going to study the game. I'm just going to play it. And uh, I'm going to start live streaming. And I'm going to start talking tremendous levels of shit. Like tremendous levels. Like I'm just going to like berate everybody. It's going to be so fun. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really even that excited about Mortal Kombat 11, but because uh, I actually think 9 was better. But um, that's definitely something I definitely want to do now. I want to start game streaming again because I have a fucking ridiculously powerful desktop and I've got a ridiculously powerful laptop and I'm barely using them. I mean, you know, I use them for coding and stuff, but it's like I really... Um, I really don't use them that much, and I want to. I want to get back into that. I want to get back into gaming. You know, I play games. It's just that I, I don't really live stream it, and I really should. You know, because apparently there's such a huge market for people to uh, play video games. It's like a lot of the games that came out, I kind of missed out on. Like, uh, what was it called? Dub. So I know I'm getting Mortal Kombat 11, but I didn't buy Far Cry 5 because the reviews sucked. And I didn't get something else. Oh, the Division 2. And the thing about it is the majority of these YouTubers making big money are making big money playing freaking video games. They're not making money on these cars. Not that much anyway. So um, I have to diversify again. And keep in mind, 22 days from now, I will be taking you with me to Thailand. We're going to go to Bangkok and possibly Pattaya. should be fun it's cold out here 
Oh boy, so we're going to the Addy's barbecue spot. Okay. This is a Volkswagen Rotan. This is the ugliest little fucking minivan I've seen in a while. This thing is ugly. And because it's a Volkswagen, you already know it's got shitty reliability. Like, I don't even need to see what Consumer Report says. I know the thing sucks. We'll see. Brainwashed. See, nobody wanted to say that, but I'm saying, why would you love the poorly ed? I love the poorly educated. We're the smart because we can brainwash them and make them what? Lord. What the fuck are you doing? But smart people, it's very hard to get loyal, blind loyalty. Let me repeat. It's very difficult to get blind loyalty from very smart people. That's why you Jesus went after Christ. the educated. That's why you went after the professor. That's right, officer. Vietnam. Swept the account. Went after the universities. There's the book on, on, on fascism. First thing Mussolini did, went after the educators. Went after the educators. We were talking about that book interview you did, The Assault on Intelligence. Trump's Assault on Intelligence. And not just intelligence agencies, but any intelligence. Intelligence at the, 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 the universities. That's it, that's right. Scientists, the journalists. Anything that deals in the facts. You, and, you, you got, and, and, and it's right there in front of you. You're listening to it should be insulted. If I had a candidate, well, I don't care if he's running for dog catcher, was, and I'm at a rally, and, and he says, I love you poorly educated. What the fuck? Who are you calling poorly educated? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Joe, he's covering all the bases. Right. He's tearing down all the pillars of, of, what society. Made, of what made this uh, society great. Absolutely. Education. Right. PBS. Yes. Health. Yes. The Affordable Care Act. Right. Medicaid. Yes. Make you work in order to get benefits of Medicaid. Which, by the way, our, I think the judge in Arkansas kicked that out. Exa these are stories you can go into detail on. And the housing crisis. Evictions are going up. I have, housing, I have the story. Rental and home. I have the story right here. The eviction crisis is starting to look a lot like the subprime mortgage crisis. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about because I just bought another house. Created <laughs> Scholars at Georgia. Uh oh, oh, oh Jeep SRT, baby. Have, have, What's up, bro? Are, are looking at eviction filings. And uh, I think it was. It could have been a goddamn overland with those stupid the lights. Ordinary ones. Can't and really tell. Nearly half of Americans are rent burdened. Yeah, so I guess you're not going to be able to afford rent. anything more than a shoebox yeah. apartment. So yeah, my listen. suggestion is you stop paying these fucking high cell phone bills, save up your money, and get a better place to live. Stop sending all your money over to the Chinese for plastic cheap shit. That's what I would do. But then again, who am I to talk? I buy iPhones. All right. So we are going to Addie's Barbecue. And Addie's Barbecue is right here on Elmont Road. And it is basically a Muslim barbecue restaurant. Which is actually kind of interesting because you don't see those very much. Okay, yeah, see, it's another one of these overlands or something that has those, those lights that they try to look like mine, but they don't. There he is. Addie's. There he is. No stopping any time back that way. Oh, there's that fuel light. <laughs> okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can park here. Because I really don't want to park in there. I'd rather park here. Yeah. Here we go. Now 
Yeah, white people done fell off too. It's not just black folk. He's telling the truth there. I ain't never seen white people as desperate as I've seen them lately. Especially on 90 Day Fiance. Okay. I gotta get out without being killed. Okay. <laughs> okay, Addie's. Addie's Addie's. The rest of them should be along soon. The Honest Butcher, Authentic Halal. Hmm. Interesting. Oh shit, they got a bigger crowd today. Okay, I think they, they, they prepared for us, they prepared. They prepared for us. Sounds like somebody's over revving a BMW. I swear to God, these are the worst drivers in the world. And when they don't have that M on their car, they're even worse. And it's an old one, too. Yeah, try not to get anybody killed, please. Jesus Christ. Okay. There they are. Oh, here you are. What are they doing to your car? My body. Oh, okay. Uh, stainless steel fender flares. I bought a three three piece AG luxury wheels. New wrap. You gotta move up. You can't park there. You can park there. Nah, this whole thing says do not stop. No stopping anytime. That's why this shit is uh, crossed up. Can't park there. He's not. It says no stop. No stop. No stop. If you want, you can put it in. As you can see, I provide several uh, benefits to the team, including code enforcement, you know, parking laws and obeying rules and whatnot. An <sighs> uh, accurate TL. And the sad thing is, I actually like the accurate TL, but they fucked up so bad with the TLX. What a joke. It's ugly ass Lexus. Like this is Japan or something. Daddy's barbecue. Let's go on in there and get us some halal. Yes. Hi, I called uh, for the 13 people. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, that looks good too. That looks good. The wide body charger, if it's made like the Challenger, it should have electric steering. 
And because a lot of people don't realize it, the Challenger has electric start. I'll roll with them. And most people haven't really driven it, so they don't really know. I didn't, I didn't know that either. It's got electric steering. It's not the same as the Charger. It's not as the mango. If you come to Addy's, you gotta get the mango shake. Mm. Okay, um, but then you gotta also taste the pina colada shake. What, the mango? Now, no matter over oh, there, he came over and he told me that some of the people who watch my video had come in. Hey, what's up? He said some of the people who watch my video had come here and they said, oh, yeah, you know what? We watch Big Truck's video and we want to come here and take the food. So. I'm really glad to see that, uh, and he, he thanked, oh, shit, oh, there it is. Yeah, he thanked me for that, like, as soon as he got here. He was like, yeah, you know, I got people got watching the video, and they came. Okay, let's see, that, that's I'm how I roll. I got the pina colada shake, I got the pina colada shake. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, people who watch my video, they're trying the restaurants yeah. that I go to, and they got some good food. Yeah, he did get a oh, Mustang. Here we go, look at this guy, look at this guy. What's going on, man? It's loud as shit, though. Not me. Just making cheeseburgers. Well, these are the slipperiest clothes on the planet. Yes. Oh, there's no fuck. You gotta try this. Is it really? Is it? Is it? Cause they didn't have it. They didn't have it last time It's good like that. I didn't take it. I got. I got. I got. The cheesiest. That's what mac and cheese is supposed to be. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's great. Oh man. What is it? I'm i Thank you. The machine, oh, the machine. That is the best. Yes. Yeah. The machine. Yeah. That is the best. Yeah. You guys are being very generic. No. Oh, I had your burger. Meat and chicken. Oh, what? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. That is sour. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. How do you feel? Oh. Bro, what happened to you, bro? First he says cocky. Then he's over there fucking. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you got the beef over rice or the chicken, chicken over rice? Thank you. Spicy fuck. Oh, you got the Oh, you already had it, man. Oh, you did we're, too. We had it with the rice. Funny, we're talking about police being pulling us over. No, I, 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 I don't know about that. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go. Somebody got caught. First time call. God damn, these motherfuckers everywhere. Go ahead, Jerome. Hey, I'm the guy the about the guy who the the guy 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 the Indiana. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> hey, Mr. Madison, uh, I'm 
I've been listening to about two years now. Yeah. So uh, I've been very close. What is this slow uh, piece I, of I shit? Have a bit of the a fuck is this fuck? New story for you. I, I, I wanted to get your advice on it. I'm be missing by something in my brain. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for moving away. away. Right. All right. Jeez. Uh, I work for a very large company, and uh, just Trump got elected. The prior to Trump being elected, Fox News was on the television in the cafeteria. It, it seemed like immediately after he got elected, they took it off air and put it on the weather channel. And so I just put it on my mind. Oh, I understand. I understand why they did that. Oh, I know why they did that. They keep down the controversy. Because you probably right, right. have Trump supporters and non-Trump supporters. And so the one okay. thing about the weather, everybody wants to know what the weather is. And, and, and let right, me tell you right. what a lot of, and what a lot Dark of Hemi. losers have done. They've put on Oh, God, we got these fucking losers with these stupid that that's, that's, that's safe. You know, everybody can argue Who's this about guy? The, the sports. So, I, you know, I can, I, I, there, there was a place where we used to go. And they would and, and they would have um, they would have uh, MSNBC on, or they would have and, okay. and, and this is during Obama and sometimes and people would sit and talk, and, and sometimes folks would be nasty and they would speak. And have you ever been in a waiting room or in a room where folks start talking out loud, knowing, knowing that they, they can hear you, you can hear them. And, and it's almost like they're daring you to say something. I can't help. I, I remember being someplace and this couple, I just didn't, Obama came on. I just hate him. I hate him. I just can't stand okay. seeing him on TV. And you know Turn the channel. And, and, and what you have and what I have to do is go, you know, you just you just be quiet. Because they're trying to aid you on. Right. And so what they did at your place, they put on the weather. Cadillac yeah, like XT4. Who's going to argue about the weather? Okay. Hey, that's the that, that keep down That's a smart move. Oh, yeah. That's right. 41 after. Hey, follow me, the Black Eagle, on Twitter at Matt 